Okay, so today is the day. No more procrastinating. I'm going to go ahead and cut my hair. My hair is three different textures and I am just sick and tired of its foolishness. So right now, I just took a loose my ponytail from my other style, and I decided to not wash my hair because my hair was as straight as possible from the ponytail. So I figured, since I'm cutting my hair myself, I can get the best cut with doing it alone. Girl, what are you waiting on? It seems as if I started to get butterflies. Okay, now I'm just being really dramatic. I need to just go ahead and cut it. I don't understand why I am procrastinating. It just takes one simple snip and it's done. So let's try this again. See how easy that was. finished product of my um it's a big chop but it's like a mini big chop i mean well it is still a big chop but i don't know okay so a couple of things the first thing is you guys probably want to know the reason why i cut my hair well for those of you who are new to my channel i do have traction alopecia in the middle of my um head here and um, I do have control over it by the grace of God though I am able to grow it back every time it comes out so I do that however because I have traction alopecia the middle of my hair like where it's at it changes the texture like it's so nappy oh my god like I promise y'all it's nappy 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 and for some reason because it's nappy it causes the rest of my hair to get tangled up as well so like all in the center and like the perimeter part around the center of it it'll get like tangly and I'm very tender-headed so it hurts when I comb it also I don't know what was going on but I literally had like three textures of hair I had a texture in the back which was like really really loose and like a big big a bigger curl like probably more like um a 4b and then in the middle I had like a a 5z because it was so kinky I promise you and then the front was more like a 4c so I just decided that I was just gonna cut it to the lowest terms which is where um I saw this pattern at I decided to cut it to this and um as far as this color goes I really do not like this color because i was supposed to have my hair a brighter red but it came out such a dark color why i would never know and i'm not feeling that so in about maybe two weeks three weeks i am going to go ahead and i am going to um dye it again so that i can get the color that i want but i probably cut off a total of maybe four inches four and a half inches and maybe in some areas five inches Cause I'm here now and you guys know I was here. So 
yeah I cut off a lot but it's all good it's going to grow back not only will it grow back it's gonna be a lot healthier and this time what I'll do is do myself like I do my clients which is I'll make sure at least every eight weeks if I get any of those little trashy ends I'll cut them off because what people don't understand with having natural hair we have if we want to keep our curl pattern like if you have heat damage I didn't have heat damage but like if you want to keep your curl pattern popping you have to keep that part of your hair exposed meaning when it starts to get stringy cut it off because every time you cut it off you'll end up developing these gorgeous curls and i'm not just saying for my hair texture that goes for anybody if you have natural hair and you want your curls to pop as much as possible keep your ends trimmed i cannot stress that enough please ma'am please sir keep your ends trimmed because if you don't keep them trimmed this is what's going to happen. Your hair is going to get all stringy and it's gonna, you're going to have length and that's all it's going to be. It's just length. Just trashy length. I didn't have trashy length but I was almost on the verge to being there and I just was not okay with that and then like I said the middle of my hair where the alopecia resides child I wasn't okay with that other texture and another thing that happens when you have those little like balls on the end of your hair when you wash your hair it causes your hair to tangle up real real bad and when I washed my hair um I think it was last week when I did the ponytail style oh my god y'all don't know how much of my hair I lost like I literally lost a lot a lot of hair and it's because it was like matting up from the little balls on the end of my hair but today after I cut my hair and then went in and actually put another dye in my hair combed it hardcore combed it combed it combed it put the conditioner on it I lost when I tell you guys nothing I lost nothing the sink was empty and I was just smiling I was so grateful because I was like oh my god why didn't I been cut my hair I should have been done it and I know a lot of guys are gonna be like why did you cut your hair it grown so long honey it's just hair it's gonna grow back trust you me it will okay so this is gonna be my new journey and then another thing like the other um hair color I had I didn't like the fact that it looked like I didn't have no edges because my edges had got so blonde you couldn't see my hair so now that it's with this red looking burgundy-ish whatever plumish whatever this color is you can clearly see my edges now which is a good thing for me so yeah pretty much this is my new big chop what do you guys think um y'all know by March honey I'll be long again by March or April my hair will be back down here again because it grows pretty fast. So, I don't know. I hope you guys like this new journey. I hope you guys take this journey with me. Maybe you guys need to do a little mini chop or a big chop or just trim your ends. I don't know. But let me know down in the comment section. Have you ever experienced having the little hairballs on the end of your hair that causes the rest of your hair to mat and tangle up? Okay? So, I'll see you guys in my next video. And thanks for watching.